Okay, week six. In general, here's one of the things that you need to pay attention to, plus the dates. So make sure you check those dates, due dates, October 4th and the 6th. It's near the end of the week, but again, don't hold it off just to the end of the week because it adds up. We've got this midterm questions. What that's about is um, there is no real midterm happening just yet. There's no big test or whatever coming. What this is going to be is a hypothetical assignment where you would contribute possible questions. So far, the topics we've covered in, in these weeks have been coding with HTML, coding with CSS, coding with JavaScript, and talk about virtual servers, specifically MAMP. So you're going to create one question, multiple choice question with four possibilities, A, B, C, D. Um, very open-ended about what you would like to ask if you were creating this test. Some question about HTML, it could be like, what is the code to make a link? Sure. Or you could do other things, such as if I wanted uh, to make some text to be big and bold and important looking, what might that code be? So it's very open-ended if you want to go with specific code or in theory. But in each of these big topics, you have to think of one question, just one for each question, uh, one for each topic, and each one has to have four possible answers. And you want to avoid the all of the above and the none of the above types of questions. You're going to post this in the discussion board, and don't put the answer yet. You know, put your question and the possibilities, but not the answer. Um, and in a little, you know, in a little post right there, you're going to have your questions plus A, B, C, D. And you're going to have an example of, well, where might a person get this answer? You could use the previous readings that I've given if you are specific, of course. Don't so just copy and paste some link and it doesn't relate. But if you ask a certain question about JavaScript, you have to provide some sort of link from some website somewhere where that answer that you're looking for could be found um, on that article. So you create one question per topic, you create four possible answers per question, you provide a link to where the answer might be. Um, don't mark your answer correct, don't use the all of the above or none of the above. And then you're going to reply, for the second half of it, you're going to reply to your classmates. So this is again on the first come first served uh, sort of thing. Um, what I do ask, however, is uh, what I noticed on the previous assignment about doing your, your video response and all of that. On websites, I saw people claiming the website but not actually answering it yet. I, I don't quite like that. I would like you to um, answer the question uh, when you're ready to answer it. Don't just, uh, don't just claim a website and then a few days later do the answer because people came to me and said, I have an answer right now to give, but the website's been taken already. So when you're ready to answer the question, answer the question. Don't just claim it. And what's going to happen is, is that it's again first come first serve. So other people by Wednesday, everyone by Wednesday actually, should have their questions on Canvas. I know several will want to finish it today before you leave, but you know it's due by Wednesday. Um, and after Wednesday you have to go in and answer someone's question. Um, you'll answer each question. First come first serve. And I can check on Canvas by the time who answered it. And again, please don't just claim someone's question and answer it later. You, you answer it at that moment. So you're going to go find a classmate, pick one person, um, and answer three of their four questions. They created four questions. You created four questions. Someone is going to answer three out of those four questions. Um, you're going to answer which one is correct and why. Uh, for one classmate, you're going to answer three questions. Again, first come, first served. Um, there's almost 30 people in the class. You should be able to uh, answer everyone else's question. It'll work out. To get the full credit, there it is broken down again. Create four questions on the four topics with four possible answers. Include a link to where the answer, if they read the, the article, where would the answer be? That's due by Wednesday. Then reply to one classmate, three of their questions, why you, uh, pick the answer in a short sentence, and that's due by Friday. So uh, that's going to be the, the discussion topic on that. You're going to help uh, create a possible midterm based on the topics we've already talked about. We're, crowd, we're crowdsourcing it. Um, questions um, on this um, uh, discussion assignment? 
You can, of course, ask throughout the rest of the day, me or to the uh, tutors, but any general questions? Does that kind of make sense? OK, so that is uh, the midterm. The other assignment, not the midterm, that is the discussion assignment. The other assignment uh, is, is actually using WordPress. If I look at what you need to do, most of it won't make sense yet because we're going to have a lecture on what you actually have to do. But for the WordPress assignment, you have to have MAMP set up running on a computer, ideally your home computer, so you can do it at your own leisure. But you can use our computers. You can use the computers at the library, but you need on a computer to install MAMP with all the defaults, start the servers, create a database. We haven't learned that yet. That's what we're going to learn today. But you're going to create a database for your website, for your WordPress site. Um, we're going to use the WordPress software. Um, we've got a copy of it ready for you to use, but I'll show you where to get it in a moment. And we're going to install WordPress and look a little bit about how it works, what's the interface, how do you use a little bit of it. We'll have longer lessons and more assignments about it as time goes on. But on this first look at WordPress, you're going to complete these things, and the homework will be um, that you're going to again show some screenshots show a take a screenshot you're gonna upload a screenshot that is showing that your WordPress site is running in the web browser and you're going to change the theme besides the default one again most of this doesn't make sense it'll make sense when we have the, the main lecture in a moment that's due by Sunday and then it's just two big uh, things to get graded on did you submit your screenshot so I can see that you did the work did you change your theme and I guess it could have been broken down into into little pieces of points, I guess. But it's uh, you did it or not, basically. So that's going to be the other assignment to do by Sunday. It doesn't make sense just yet until we do the lecture. But you're going to create a WordPress website after we learn how to do it together. Kind of makes sense. Any questions, perhaps, on that at the moment? Those are the two assignments due this week. Let's do the main lecture to understand, well, how do we, how do we set up WordPress?